want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shad, Ba'ashim, Makakadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessing to you all. Came out here that's pushing this truth. I'm the brother Yakalim with Uncle Rob. In uh, today's lesson, we're going to touch on an article that we saw from RT News. And um, the brother Karab is going to bring it out. Con, and this is um, from RT News. This was published on April 23rd, 2020, which is uh, today. And this is the end of the American dream. It says, amid, amid COVID-19 crisis, U.S. super rich flee to bunkers in New Zealand. And it says, while the majority of Americans have no choice but to put up with the shortfalls of their government amid the coronavirus crisis, the United States super rich are seeking refuge in New Zealand. New Zealand has become the go-to place for billionaires escaping a hypothetical uh, apocalypse, uh, apocalyptic scenario. Scattered across the countries are a number of underground bunkers designed to keep the ultra-wealthy the ultra safe and sound in an emergency. The international media has fawned over Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern handling of the COVID-19 crisis, putting New Zealand in the global spotlight as an example of what real leadership should look like in the Trump era and how to successfully run a healthy democracy. All right. It says, if one contrasts Ardern's effort with how the epidemic has been managed in the U United States, where more than 47,000 people have died, I can't say I'm all that surprised that, from the outside at least, New Zealand looks like a location in a utopian novel. Yet, while the majority of Americans will have no choice but to put up with the shortfalls of their government, it appears there are some who have a different plan ex entirely. All right? So, you know, as, as what's taking place is, you know, how this COVID-19, this coronavirus is running rampant all through America, you know, and it's doing this, and it's doing what it's supposed to do because the scripture talks about those spirits created for vengeance and it's going to do according uh, to the will of uh, of them that of him that, that made them. It says it's going to appease the wrath of him that made him. So, you know, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And, you know, uh, people can't, these, 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 these doctors, these scientists, they can't, they can't figure it out. They can't control it. And you see the people getting scared more and more, you know. But now that you see that everything's shutting down, you have the oil, the oil drop, you know, you have the uh, the money's about to fall short, you know. That's what these, uh, these 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 super rich are doing. They're taking off and they're getting getting themselves prepared uh, to, to to shack up in these bunkers. You know, leaving the uh, the average American citizen, but not just only in America, is going to take place. It's going to happen across the world because the Lord said He's going to bring plagues into the world. All right, but primarily here in, in Babylon because. Babylon had been that golden city, you know, it's been that hammer of the whole earth. So, you know, with those that are the, the, those super rich that are here, you know, they're actually taking off right now and, and setting up in New Zealand, you know, and there's many other places that, that has uh, uh, um, these underground bunkers as well, you know, that they that they just not uh, mentioning. But, you know, they're showing you what's, what's, what their plan is. Karnak, and like the brother was saying, you know, they're leaving amidst COVID, but. You know, the Lord, he's sending these plagues worldwide because right now, you know, New Zealand has about a thousand confirmed and 165 that's been um, diagnosed and then 16 deaths. So it's not like they're running to a place that isn't being hit with the plague. They know that America is through, you know, like the book of, um, matter of fact, if I could bring that out, the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and D, where the Lord said in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves. And the grinding cease because they are few. And those that look out the windows be darkened because there's no future in this place. And not just that, a lot of these super rich, they own those companies right now that are looking for those bailouts. You know, you had a lot of CEOs, not just Bill Gates. I know we've been on his ass lately, but they've been stepping down the head of Victoria's Secrets, the CEO of Harley Davidson, um, the um, CEO of Disney. And they're all leaving for, for a deeper reason because we ain't the only ones that seen that chariot. That was three times the size of um, three times the size of the earth. Come on. And I'm gonna finish off Ecclesiastes. It says, "And the door shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of the music shall be brought low." That's right. You know, once again, the brother had mentioned, you know, the grinding ceases. 
And that is ever, you know, it's it's, it's 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 vivid. It's right in your face that the once you turn on the news, you can see once you go on these uh these 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 news medias, you know these uh media outlets, you know you can see what's taking place, you know. And if we as uh, as citizens, you know, uh, uh, here can see it on this level, how much more of them, especially them being those 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 owners and those 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 top uh, top uh, CEOs, you know, of these companies, you know. So hence why they would go and flee over there because when you mentioned about the uh, the amount of people that caught the uh, what is it, the coronavirus? Yeah. It talks about a utopia. Uh, uh, it's like a city in a new uto- a utopia novel, you know. So such as they think they're going over there because it's it, 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 it's 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 away. It's away from the destruction. It's away from the chaos, you know. But guess what? You have another plan. Uh, the how about Shimao Sha has something for them because it's been written. You know, the scripture says uh, the words of uh, the Lord are faithful and true. So it's been written that when they go up in these bunkers, something's going to uh, gonna occur to get their ass out. Or it's going to take place because they, they're not going to be able to hide themselves. All right. Karnak, before I get that, you have brought out, you know, we look at it from a low level as a worker. Imagine them that understands the stocks and they know the number because you had um, the airline head at JFK said, you know, September 11th happened in one day. And they said it took them 10 years to bounce back from this. Mm-hmm. So even if this government opens up this country, the shit's already too far gone. You know, they already even canceled school. The damage already been yeah, done. Yeah, man, they canceled daycare. It's mm-hmm. too much damage. So imagine what 9-11 did in one day. It took 10 years to recover from that. Imagine what this is being out of work for months. Companies shut down, everything being back. But also going into what the brother was saying, I'm going to bring out the book of Isaiah 2 and 19 because it's a deeper reason also why these elites are running to their bunkers because they know that Jacob's trouble's coming. They know that eventually the people are going to realize they was getting fucked. And this is Isaiah 2 and 19. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks. Mm-hmm. Those being those bunkers. And like the brother said, there are some here. You have the one in Denver. If you do your research, there's truck drivers driving in there night and day complaining saying they're bringing material and um, stuff there. Also it says and into the caves of the earth. For the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. And the Lord has lightly started, you know, shaking the earth by sending out this pandemic. And this, whether if he released it or not, it's still all of the Lord. You know, the Lord said he was going to send the plagues to the earth and who shall call them back. Yes, right. And it also, going down to verse 20, it says, In that day a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship, to the moles and to the bats, because they're going to realize that that wasn't going to save them, mm-hmm. you know, and they can't hide from the face of Yahweh Bashimi or Shah. And I believe you had that preset. Come on, come on. Let me get to it real quick. Um, it's going into um, Revelation, the sixth chapter. Bear with me real quick. Yeah, come on, Salah. 16, it says, well, actually, 15. Revelation 6 and 15. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountains, and said unto the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Alright, so what's taking place before, as the Lord said, that he was going to bring plagues upon Egypt again. All right, these plagues are being activated. These famines is taking place into the world. When you read, um, I'm gonna grab it real quick. Uh, this is Second Ezra 16 and 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cl- cl- cloths of sack and hair, and beware your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May may any man drive away a hungry lion in the woods, or may any anyone quench a fire in the stubble when it has begun to burn? May one turn away the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is uh, who is he that w- that can drive them away? So now you know that these plagues is activated by mm-hmm. by the prophecies, these things that are taking place. You know, these are, uh, 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 you know, once, once again, mentioned earlier about these, uh, when you turn on these media outlets, you can see the the oil's dropping. You see that gas is low. You see that people, uh, uh, people are starting to, uh, uh, what is it, sedition among them. Yep. People are getting, starting to upri- up, uprise against the, uh, the government, you know. You've seen famines taking place across the earth, you know. 
like I said, if we're seeing it on this level, how much more of them in, you know, with them, with them doing that, they know they have to answer for all the wickedness that, wickedness that they have done. Because the scripture talks about that, that the iniquity, basically, uh, they're going to have to answer for every, uh, uh, for, uh, what's it? You read what you sow, roughly paraphrasing. So going back to Galatians 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so they're going to have to answer for, and they're going to have to uh, receive that judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahshua for their wickedness. Karnak, and it shows you in the movies, for instance, um, 2012, even mm -hmm. though it was a natural disaster, these devils think that they can run to a bunker and wait it out. So even if they don't get hit with the plagues, and utterly this place being destroyed by those ICBM missiles. The book, um, um, Jeremiah 16 and 16 tells you, Behold, I will send for many fishes, save the Lord, and they shall fish them. And this is what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. When we go on the highways and byways and when we do our lessons, we're fishing for the elect. But then the Lord says after that, And after will I send for many hunters, that they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And who is that that's talking about those those, those elites and those mm -hmm. rich people that think that they're going to escape their judgment because they're not here. But you can't escape the judgment of the Lord like the brother was saying. Mm -hmm. huh. I got um, Ezekiel 7, and I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, Behold the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod has blossomed. Pride has budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. And none of and none of them shall remain, nor, nor of their multitude nor of any of theirs, neither neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth nigh. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. And for the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. All right? They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none go up to the battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence, and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. All right, so this is what's going to take place in the time of Jacob's trouble. This is what's coming. This is what's uh, befalling this place, uh, primarily America, mainly America, because it's the, the the chief seat of wickedness, you know. But it's going to happen unto all the earth, you right? So I'm continuing on. It says, um, "But they that escape of them shall escape, and, and shall be on the mountains like doves, so like it, mountains like doves of the valley, and all the mourning, every one for his iniquity." All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloths, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all heads. They shall cast their silvers in the street, and their gold shall be removed, and their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in, deliver them in the day of wrath, of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stumbling block for, of their iniquity. All right. So we on on the lower level, you got these, uh, you know, you got the rich or what we consider the middle class. All right. That's living better than the poor. You know, you got those that trust in their money, you know, but how much more of those that are at the top, you know, when the when the scripture says that rich is profited not in the day of wrath. All right. You have that? bro? Yeah. yeah Connick, I got you to back you. This is Proverbs 11 and four. Rich is profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Console. The, any not any amount there's not any uh, uh amount of money that can deliver you from your how about shim you can't you can pay 60 million dollars to get into a, a bunker and and, and, and and on order and request whatever you want but that's not gonna that's not gonna negate the fact that's not gonna take away the fact that your how about shim the heavenly father and his only begotten son you know is gonna it's gonna it's still Destroy you You're still gonna have to receive that reward Which is uh, according to your wickedness You're gonna still have to receive that judgment Alright Because that's why he, when you brought out uh, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16 You know The Lord's gonna have men His 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 elect Go and, 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 and bring these people out of these caves Out of these uh, bunkers You know Karnak in the scripture show me paraphrasing said That it's easier for a camel To go through a uh, um... The needle's eye the um the um, the needle. the um the eye the needle before there's a rich man entering the heaven because also what we read in Proverbs eleven and four which says but righteousness delivered from from death when you got money like that and especially in the society 
your wicked is all hell. Mm -hmm. Because you're robbing from people, you're taking from people, you're cutthroat, and this is the... You know, this is how they make money in this society. Um, 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 big dog eat little dog. Yeah, or, yeah. Um, big bank take little bank, yep. as they say. You yeah, know? yeah, man, and that's why the Lord made that statement that you know it's it's easier for a camel to go through that little hole in that rock than it is for a righteous man to enter. Why? Because the righteous man is going to try to offer the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, the um, 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 paper and stuff like that. Like the brother bought out, you can spend sixty million, and and escape. You know, you might be able to escape the ICBMs from here in America, but the Lord might have one, because, you know, Babylon's going to shoot some off, too, go over there, not just that, the person who wrote this article was a regular person who started noticing rich people going to those bunkers, mm -hmm. so you don't think people are going to realize where they at, and try to roll up on them, but the Lord said that his elect men, I don't want to run, that's us, and we get to snatch up some of these devils, the Lord's going to let his elect men go up in there. Huh, you know, um, yeah, because cause when a righteous man, going back to the point that you mm -hmm. mentioned, it says, uh, uh, but righteous is delivered. Can you bring, bring, bring that out again, Baba Kishore? Come, Proverbs 11 and 4. Which is profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Con, so so righteousness is what delivers from death. And you, we know that within Esau and these elites, and, 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 and you know, there's no righteousness. They establish their wealth, their riches, off of straight iniquity and wickedness. You uh, know, uh, 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 you know, uh, the blood of, uh, uh, of, of our people, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Spanish, neighbors, and similar Indians, you know, Yasharala. That's how they receive their wealth, you know. And, and, and now, as you see, what they're going to do, even the average, even the peon Edomites, they're going to they're going to abandon because uh, they don't they're showing you that they don't even care about them. They only care about their own selves, which the, which they, once again, there's no righteousness in them. You know, uh, what is that? Um, uh, Habakkuk 2 and 4 says. Uh, the spirit is not upright in him, you know, so showing you that, man, and, 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 and this is what's taking place, because once they get that, they have the money to uh, uh, to, to, to um, go out, go, what is it, the space station, yep. they have the money to go uh, 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 in these underground bunkers, you know? Carl, like, and they're definitely going to do that, because it shows you in the movie um, Elysium with Matt Damon, where they had that space station out there where the ultra rich lived, while the, um, while all the poor and peons still lived on earth without barely nothing and they were living a lavish life out there on their space station huh. it was that also that movie deep impact right yep come on, deep come impact on. they also had a uh a scene with, with them going into the bunkers mm -hmm. you know the yeah, odd but, game fallout mm -hmm. filmed in boston filmed all over they got one in um what's that movie? texas and all of that 2012 uh, yep 2012 yeah. and you see the rich was trying to mm -hmm. into the bunker but that's also them going into how they think that their kingdom is going to continue forever. They think that we're just going to be up here, fight it off. They're going to be, like in that article with the brother Red, one dude wants to spend uh, 60 million and have a million. helipad hooked up to it. They said you got a game room, workout room, and all that shit. They think they're going to chill and parlay while everybody else kill each other because they're still trying to get to them Georgia Guidestones. Mm -hmm. So that would be the ultimate way to bring it down. And then they're just going to come out of it and set up their, set up their utopia, but it's not going to work like that. Con, it's all going to come to naught, you know? What are you going to do with a helicopter in a time of a calamity or in a time of destruction? You know, when the Lord's really putting the smack down on this place. When the Lord's really running, having these uh, uh, these, these, these spirits on the left hand, you know, and also the, the, the angels on the uh, the right hand and the, 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 uh, the, the slot here, the angels on the left hand doing their job out here. Cool. You know, smiting and killing and doing all these things. This is what's coming to this place, you know. Scripture says, woe unto the world and, and them that dwell therein. You know, because it, it, it it's not gonna be nice out here. So what are you gonna need a helicopter for? Showing you that, you know, uh, uh, it just it's just the money is it, the money is uh, of none value. It's, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna help them in that day. You know, Karna, I can want more when you look at the um Lord's elect men out of Rothers that that's us. We don't have no riches. We're poor on this side. We're mm -hmm. all meek. We ain't got nothing. But the Lord said that the righteous shall be delivered. The Lord's gonna de de deliver His men. Have them go through stuff. But he's going to uh, deliver his men and imagine them who have those bunkers and they're in those places. Those are the ones that's going to fill his wrath. So mm -hmm. it's just to show them. That's another perfect example of your riches won't save you in that day because somebody who's poor is the one that the Lord is going to have mercy on. That's right. You know, um, I got a quick precept and I'm going to go into um, 2nd Ezra 15 and I'm going to go um, to verse 7. It says, therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. 
all right, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood prior unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. So the Lord said he's not gonna he's not gonna allow them to, to get away with it, you know. He's not gonna he's not gonna uh, sit back and watch this happen and not do nothing. He's and this way he says he's gonna avenge the blood of them, you know, because he said the righteous and the innocent, you know, uh, uh you know, they're crying unto him, they're complaining continually, right? And therefore said the Lord, Yeah, how about you mouth I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. All right. And it goes into um I'm going to jump down. It says, um, now I'm going to continue on. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. Once again, Egypt is going into uh, modern uh, modern day Egypt is, is going into Babylon, America. All right. And it says, I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right. So it's showing you why they're trying to get out of this place. You know, it, it, it makes because this place is gonna catch it. You know, and and, and 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 once again, the brother mentioned earlier that they still got that. Uh, uh they still got their plans that they want to meet. They still got that Georgia Gaston. They still got the RFID micro trip that they trying to push out more and more. You know, and, and, and as by the way, the scriptures they know that Babylon's gonna get destroyed. You know, so where where else? Are, you know, where else? Where you think they're gonna head to? They're gonna head somewhere else. But they these elites are gonna be the first ones in in, in slavery. You know, that once the once the once the elect, you know, by way of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah goes in and dig them out of the, the, those those bunkers, guess what? The change is going on in hand. You know, and they ain't gonna have to build up the righteous kingdom that has come. That's the that's coming, you know. Oh, that's it. All right. So you know with that, Lord's will that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Akakadash, the bonds to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who will one who has taught us this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there, laboring the truth and sincerity on four corners of the earth. With that, I want to say Shalom and Abad Baba.